Fighting a daily battle with AIDS, Harriet's health is getting steadily worse. The disease killed her husband and nine-year-old daughter. If she dies, she doesn't know what will happen to her surviving children. I'm very worried because they are still young. They still need me. I have to guide them. Aware that her children may soon be orphaned, Harriet has compiled a so-called memory book for them. Everything from her family history, including the death of her husband, to general advice on life and how to avoid AIDS. Her 13-year-old daughter Winnie says the book has helped her to come to terms with the way AIDS has affected her family and prepared her to become an orphan. When my mother passes away, sometimes it will help me to know more and remember. The charity that taught Harriet to write her book has urged her and other Ugandan women to include lists of family property. That way, memory books can serve as wills to make sure orphans get their due. We are really trying very hard to, to make sure that this, this, this document, this book, is recognized in the country, recognized by the legal system, recognized by the local council and by the police. In a culture where people with HIV are still stigmatized, writing the book together helps families to talk openly about the virus and other sensitive issues. This memory book, it has helped me to tell so many things, my children. Harriet is one of nearly a million people in Uganda living with HIV. For their families, a memory book is a record of the past, but also the best preparation for the future. <laughs>